Has the PlayStation 5 Slim been revealed? Plus, Nvidia's new expensive graphics cards, new Cyberpunk updates for them, and yet another Marvel game announcement, all on today's GameSpot News. A new version of the PlayStation 5 will be released in 2023, featuring a detachable disk drive, according to a new report from Tom Henderson at Insider Gaming. Sources told the site that this new model of the PS5 has been in production since the PS5 launched in November 2020. The new remodel will reportedly feature a detachable disk drive and will connect to the PS5 via a USB-C port on the back of the console. The site went on to claim that the PS5 will be sold on its own or in a bundle with the detachable disk drive, while these rumored disk drives will be made available for sale separately. The new PS5 model is said to be, quote, slimmer and lighter than the current system. System. The report had no mention of pricing. If that wasn't enough hardware for you, Nvidia finally unveiled their 4000 series cards and, well, they're not cheap. The RTX 4090 is Nvidia's new flagship GPU, shipping with 24GB of GDDR6X memory. Nvidia claims that it will be able to deliver frame rates higher than 100fps when gaming at 4K, all while consuming the same amount of power as the RTX 3090 Ti. Using DLSS3, the latest version of Nvidia's AI-based upresing tech, Nvidia says that the RTX 4090 sees four times more performance than the RTX 3090 Ti using DLSS2. The RTX 4090 starts at $1,599 and launches on October 12th. The RTX 4080 is launching in two different configurations, a 12GB configuration and a 16GB one. Nvidia claims even the lower end 12GB card can outperform the 3090 Ti when utilizing DLSS 3. The 16GB model starts at $1,199 while the 12GB version starts at $899. Both will launch sometime in November. To show off Nvidia's fancy new cards and DLSS tech, a new version of Portal is coming out called Portal RTX. It'll be a free update for owners of the game on Steam in November, and will work on any RTX card despite DLSS3 being exclusive to the 4000 series GPUs. Nvidia will also be releasing a new modding tool called RTX Remix that allows modders to easily bring RTX enhancements like uprezzed textures and ray tracing to older titles. Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind used as an example in the reveal showcase. If you want to check out these new cards with a more recent release, Cyberpunk is getting a 4000 series makeover. DLSS3 will allow for a new overdrive ray tracing mode that'll make the regular old boring ray tracing mode on your stupid crappy current RTX GPU look like you're playing the game in 1977, not 2077. Another game that will likely run beautifully on those beefy new cars is EA Motive's new Iron Man game. EA announced that Motive Studios, the developers behind Star Wars Squadrons and the upcoming Dead Space remake, is making a single-player action-adventure game starring the Marvel hero. It will feature, quote, an original narrative that taps into the rich history of Iron Man, channeling the complexity, charisma, and creative genius of Tony Stark, and enabling players to feel what it's like to truly play as Iron Man. The studio recently added IDOS Montreal alum Olivier Pru, who worked on last year's Guardians of the Galaxy game, published by Square Enix, who will lead this new project. Seriously, if you haven't played Guardians of the Galaxy yet, do it. It's really freaking sweet, as Rocket would say. The blog post on EA's website says this game marks a new, long-term partnership between the company and Marvel Games, calling this Iron Man game the, quote, first of several new games. This adds credence to the rumor that EA is also working on a single-player Black Panther game, which is not to be confused with Skydance's Black Panther and Captain America team-up title set during World War II. Marvel really said let's make as many games as movies and TV shows, huh? And that is it for today's GameSpot news. What did you think of those PS5 rumors? Are you going to be picking up a new Nvidia GPU? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you here tomorrow on GameSpot News.